Okay, we're out here by the bike. You can see I have my Fluke 87 Mach 3 hooked up for direct voltage. And this is the reading of the battery right now. We're going to start it up and we'll see how the voltage regulator is handing, handling the power out from the stator. see it idle it's only truly it's really pulling down it's 11.77 to 11.78 so we're gonna try to increase the the idle a little bit and then back down to idle. So let's put the new rectifier in and see if it makes a change. All right, we have two plugs here. This plug, this plug, two bolts. So it should be pretty simple to remove. Let's get to it. Two plugs are disconnected. And it looks like there is a nut on the bottom. So, not going to quite be as simple as I thought. Looks like we're going to have to get up underneath there. And how they expect you to hold that is a completely different story. Right, let's take a look at this here. I don't want to drop the whole fender. That's kind of what it's looking like. See if we have access if we take the other side cover off. Yes, we do. From this side here, I can get a wrench in to, to hold that.
question is being able to get your finger underneath there to hold it now that it's loose. Trying not to drop the tap here. Get my finger on it. Just thread it back on. There's the first one. Let's move the wrench over to the second one. From underneath. And what did I just say I didn't want to do? Drop the bolt. And of course, it always happens. Let's spin around, grab that. <clears throat> All right, got both the bolts back. So let's drop this out. There's the old unit. And our brand new Rex unit. You now something I like doing. A little bit of dielectric grease. smear it around on there then we're just going to work it into the holes this one doesn't have much in it so I'll put a squirt there too up and underneath here let's look at the original one because there is a little bit of difference in these plugs notice these have a little hook this one does not have that So this goes down. This one's on top, so this one's got to flip that way. put the bolts back in it. I'm not too sure. I mean, if you buy one that supposedly has the factory ends on it, it should have the catch. I'm not too sure if I like that. First one started. Now this one's going to be the fun one. I'm trying to get my finger underneath there and then holding the regulator up all at the same time. I'm 
actually we're going to do the exact same thing I did last time just barely start it and get it down here on my finger next to where it goes up maybe at the thread it just a little bit more than that all right we're going to start it up and see if there's a difference about the same So in conclusion, I believe I'm going to have to replace my rotor and stator if I want this to give me a little bit more output. I do know Rix offers a more modern stator with a higher output, so it looks like that's what we're going to have to purchase. And if I'm going to do that, I might as well go ahead and get the new rotor as well. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. And uh, everyone have a great day and God bless.